Okay, you got a new live album. You do TV work, you do other recording work, you get out and gig a lot. Uh, how do you keep yourself going? Where do you get all this energy to, to <laughs> create so much stuff? Well, you know, like the guy says, when do you rest? I say, well, look, I got plenty of time to rest in the casket. I just, um, I, you know, I just try to stay healthy and um, be around good young people that uh, have that energy and it just wears off on me. If I'd be around some old fogies, I can't do that. But if I'm around youngsters, I, I can uh, I can keep up with them. So you feel it's partially the youth of the people you're dealing with then? Huh? Oh, yes, I have. I, the people that I deal with are just, just, just just out, totally outrageous and energetic and uh, I give them some projects that they just get energized and I get energized and so it just keeps on rolling you know because age is nothing but a matter of process of numbers so if you don't look at the numbers you never know you're getting old so you're talking about projects uh, how do you mean here do you have a like a production team you're talking yeah, about? yeah I have a production company uh, Ant Monk Production I have a uh, the record company Supertone Records and I have a well, Sonic's productions, but we do film scores. We just finished doing the um, Tales of the Crip, the opening for home box office. And uh, we did that, and we just, you know, keep going from project to project. We're also working, I'm also working on, um, I, went to, I went to South America about five months ago, in Peru exactly, and I went into the jungle and hosted a show called uh, The Rediscovering of the Amazon. And I went into the Amazon jungle, uh, uh, interviewing different artists that live on the Amazon and in the jungle. How do you mean, what kind of artists? Artists that uh, play music and artists that paint, artists that make things with that. I, I interviewed a, a guy that had leprosy and he carved these outrageous different animals of the Yukon with no hands. It's Wild, so your work has taken you far, far uh, out into the, the world and, and different uh, genres of art and all that kind right, of stuff. Right, right. Yeah. It's, it's, but it's all music, because I took my keyboards right there with me, and I went into the jungles and played for the dual children. They danced. There was no, there was no, music, there's no, no barrier. It's like, I, they kept telling me, play that. What is that? I said, that's the blues. Play the blues. <laughs> <laughs> so here I'm in the middle of the jungle, you know, playing the blues, you know, they're dancing around. <laughs> music has no barrier, you know. This is what it's all about. Happiness. There's certainly different ways of doing that, and uh, of course, uh, in terms of your albums, you certainly, especially in recent years, have been like hitting different fronts, like everything from Blues from the Rainforest to the Meridian Dreams to, well, the live album, which to me is like, uh, it's just good time club music. Yeah, we, uh, we like to boogie. Uh, if we don't be happy about it, and also think about what we're doing and, and what the earth is doing, what I, you know, we, I play music where the whole family can come and enjoy it. You know, just mm -hmm. like the old Walt, Deep, Walt Disney classic. Let's get the kids, grandkids, and parents all together and look at this movie. And this is what I'm trying to do about the music. Have the children dance, the mom dance, and the grandparents dance all at the same time.